This is a 2024 Cimarron North Star three horse slant load bumper pull with ready to go package. So this trailer has a few extra options that we don't always see standard on the North Star bumper pull. This particular trailer is seven seven tall and six ten wide. White skin, as you can see. The Cimarron comes standard with a stainless steel nose. This ready to go package has an extra wide door and that's to accommodate that swing out saddle rack. The door has a brush box. We've got three saddle racks and two blanket poles there. Spare tire mounted inside with an aluminum wheel. That's your emergency breakaway system there. 12 bridle hooks with carpet and a water tank. Carpet on the floor and a Cimarron rubber floor mat. Light switch here inside of the dressing room for this LED dressing room light. And a clothing bar. I can still fit through this door very easily, even with that saddle rack swung out. So if I need to get in there, I can easily get around the saddle rack. It's on a shock stop, so swing that back into place. Again, a nice wide dressing room door, oversized. And a flip down step. Nice sliding butt windows with a load light on the side there, LED light. We've got 5,200 pound axles on this trailer. This one comes with Goodyear Endurance ST23580 R16 nitrogen filled tires and aluminum wheels. On a Cimarron trailer, you have one year, no questions asked warranty on your tires, two years of roadside assistance and lifetime warranty on those aluminum wheels if there should be any defect found. We've got 50-50 rear doors or they're 60-40 actually, my apologies. 60-40 rear doors here on the back. Another one of those LED load lights at the top. Rubber bumper. A strap here for the back. The Cimarron trailer is all aluminum. Aluminum frame, aluminum skin, and aluminum floor. So it is gonna have rubber mats on the floor with aluminum underneath. They have one of the strongest aluminum floors on the market. I'd love to chat with you about that. The horse area has insulated walls. They are lined and insulated on both sides of the horse area here. And this roof is an insulated fiberglass. So it's two layers of gel coated fiberglass with a honeycomb insulation. This trailer is gonna be much, much cooler on a hot day than an aluminum roof or a trailer that's not insulated. Insulation is most important on the hot days, not the cold days. Three pop-up roof vents for great airflow here. Three drop-down windows also provide excellent airflow. Your first stall does have a stud divider, so you can store your items in the front stall or a third horse. Two nice big LED lights here in the rear. Again, those nice sliding butt windows. So they are a fair bit oversized, I would say. So with your drop-downs, your pop-up roof vents, and those sliding butt windows. You have great airflow in that trailer. Window on the curbside door, solid on the street side. Light switches on the rear of the trailer are gonna operate your interior, your exterior lights. So there's a load light. Just for the noise. There's a load light on either side of the trailer and one on the rear and then of course your dressing room light. So one of these lights is going to do each of those three load lights I call them. Um, the LED longer bars 16 or 8 inches long and then one of them is going to operate the interior lights of that horse area. So they're all going to be independent of one another. Your dressing room has its own LED light bar inside and there is a switch inside of the dressing room. Again, 60, 40 split doors here on the rear. Reminder that this particular trailer is seven, seven tall and six, 10 wide. 
I believe it's 18.9 floor length. Double check that on my website if you're interested in the trailer. Um, it does have drop down windows on all three horses and an escape door first horse. Again, all of your lights are LED. They're gonna be running lights, interior lights, and load lights. Those are LED running lights there. Again, a nitrogen filled tire here. That is gonna keep your tires running cooler. So on those hotter days, nitrogen is a cooler running molecule than oxygen. And it also seeps out of the tire at a slower rate than oxygen does. So you will have to refill those tires less often. If you need to refill the tires, you can certainly put air in them versus nitrogen. If you don't have a local nitrogen filling station, that won't hurt anything. Again, this is a 2024 Cimarron North Star three horse slant load bumper pull. All aluminum, insulated walls in the horse area, insulated fiberglass roof, seven, seven tall, six, 10 wide. And I believe it's 18, nine on the floor.